Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to create a mod for Stardius where you will be able to create custom floor tiles like these that you can use in game. So we have like three images that I would like to use in game as floor tiles and we're gonna just jump in the game and see how a mod can be created. Let's wait a minute for it to load. All right, now if we go to mods in the main menu, we can see that there is about mods. There's a mod template. If you click that, it will open a GitHub repository showing you like examples, what could be done with a lot of, uh, a lot of documentation. There's the art artwork folder with the blender file, with the automation scripts, but you don't even need that. You don't even need that. So if you would like to learn more about this, you could go there. But we will just show you how to create the floors. It will be super simple. So first you click open user mods directory, like in mods, about mods, open user mods directory. It will open a folder, which is empty right now. So we'll create a new folder here, call it cool floors going to be a cool floors mod. So we're going to get inside this folder. And we want to have one particular type of file there. So we're going to go to the core game, which is also a mod, and we will click open on the core game, the contents of base game. That opens this folder here. So we'll need a mod cover. We'll need the mod info. Let's just copy these files. Don't, don't don't drag and move them. Make sure that you hold control to copy them. And we will also need a graphics folder that will have like graphics structure floors. So these are the original floors. And you have to create all the structures, uh, all the tree of the files. So you, let's create a graphics. Mm, let's create a structure just to keep consistent just to keep things consistent and then floors. So there we go. We have these and I'll just drag and drop the files from my other folder. Also use control to copy instead of move. And we have now this uh, graphic structure floors inside all cool floors with these uh, three new uh, floor types. But that's not enough. We also have to create definitions. So we have to create a uh, configuration files. So the game will know that there is there is a content in there in those in those folders. Oops, sorry. Yeah. So this uh, this will be in definitions. There's a definitions structure floors. So let's create the same the same thing definitions. structure and inside it floors. And now we can just copy, let's see floor zero one. We're just gonna copy that, paste it here. Actually a better example would be to take floor zero two because I'll show you why. So, and let's say that one of the, one of the floors that we want to uh, be reinforced so, so it will be stronger than others. So let's copy reinforce floor 02. I'll show you why I copied the 02 and not 01, because 02 extends on 01, so our floors could also extend on 01. <coughs> All right, so when we have these files, we're going to open this in our favorite text editor. So we're gonna open this whole folder here, this whole mod uh, folder. Let's see, open with code. Uh, so what do we have here? First, let's head to mod info. It's copied from core. It's a little bit too much here. So first of all, we have to change the ID to cool floors. Name should be human readable, so cool floors. And there we add some extra floors. No dependencies, or we could actually type core. Yeah, we can actually talk core. 
so it will never load before the core mod. Now atlases, we don't need decals, we don't need effects, we don't need UI, we don't need icons, we don't need dirt, but we do need floors. As you can see, there's this floors thing. So let's just keep it exactly as it is. Let's just keep it as it is. Because it has some mip map bias padding and, and things that could be useful for floors. So this is uh, uh, all we have to do in the mod info file. We just remove what's unnecessary and change the ID. Let's head over to definitions. So floor 01, as you can see, it has a parent of base floor. We didn't copy the base floor. We actually could. Um, but let's, let's ignore that because if you go to floor 2, you'll see the only thing here is that it, its parent is floor 1. So if you know in the game what floor 1 looks like, you can just delete this file. And this uh, reinforced floor is uh, deriving from the floor reinforced as the research prerequisite that is different. I would even think that is not necessary. It's redundant. Yeah, so when we have that, uh, when we have that, we, were, we will just say, since we have green tiles, red tiles, and wood tiles, let's create a, um, let's rename this file floor two to green floor, or just floor green. So floor green, parent ID remains the same. In the graphics, we're just gonna do structure floors, green tiles. We have the green tiles PNG, you don't have to put in PNG here, so just, just do that. Now floor reinforced 2 will be, let's see, wood will be reinforced. So floor, wood, reinforced. Mm -hmm. It derives from floor reinforced zero one, one and the graphic will be structure floors, wood tiles. And then we also have that uh, red tiles thing, so it's just going to copy floor green, and this floor red, and change that to red tiles. That's almost all. You'll see that the only thing that will be missing is the translations. We can actually jump into the game and reload. So we have to actually exit the game and start it fresh for the mod to be uh, noticed and loaded. Oh, I want to actually load the game from Steam, so you'll see how that can be done without any editor or any like Unity or anything. So far we just used plain file system and we also used uh, a text editor. Right, so now we head to mods. We can see that there's this cool floors in the list. It has the same cover as the core game because we copied it, but you should uh, change that file. Okay, you should change that file, maybe put in a preview. And then if we click open, it opens our mod. So far, so good. Mod is enabled. You can disable it if you want. You can hold this to disable. You can hold again to enable. Uh -huh. And now if we go into the game, let's actually continue our last game. And let's see what we can do with this, uh, with this new stuff. So if we go to the build menu, we go to structure, floors, here you go, there's structure, floors, wooden. And as you can see, translations are missing. There, there's a floor red and floor green. Now, missing translations, uh, there will be, there will be some tooling in future how to make it easier to add. But now we can just like, okay, instant build is enabled here. We go to current game settings. Yeah, instant build is enabled. If we don't have that enabled, when we would build, we would need to unlock this in research because now if we go to research, you'll see that these floors are advanced construction, which is not research right now. And these are the keys that you have to add structure dot floor slot floor wood reinforced and dot desk. This is something you have to add to translation. So I'll show you in a minute how. Uh, but these floors are already unlocked, like uh, floor green, floor red. 
so we can build that. We can go to floors, pick the floor green, and it creates a typical, basically it's gonna be a copy of, of, of this floor tile. It's gonna have the same amount of materials, same work, uh, orders and so on. And if we wait long enough, you'll see that these tiles are gonna get built. So that's how you add a mod. Uh, that's how we add a mod, and let's also see what happens if we now save and exit. And how do we handle translations first? Then we will remove the mod and see what happens in the game when the mod gets removed. And we try to load the game with, uh, without the mod anymore. So translations. Translations. Also, easiest way is to run the game and open the core mod. Let's open the core mod. And there we have the translations folder. So if we go inside the translations folder, there's English CSV. And we will copy that into our cool floors mod. We'll create a translations folder. And note that you always have to add English. If you want to create mod that is translated, so you will have to maybe add like Spanish CSV here or something else, but English must be there. English is a core core uh, translation. So when we copy this, if we now switch to our editor and open the translations English, you'll see that there's a lot of stuff here. First line must be there. So you can just uh, keep that in and then you can search for floors, see floor zero one and you can delete everything around this. You can leave these floor zero one, right? Because we're, that's what we're copying and we can like remove anything else except for the first line. So now we can just do, uh, what was that? Uh, floor green, right? We can always double check, yeah, floor, floor green. The convention is that, uh, that it is, will be, that it will be, Mm, let's see, green shape floor. Yeah, it will be like this, but just all lowercase. So structure dot floors dot floor green lowercase. And then we have floor red. So you just copy this. Just do floor red. A red shape floor. And then we have a wood reinforced, right? So floor wood reinforced. A reinforced wooden ship floor. I don't know, reinforced floor. So when we add this file, this English file, we can get back to the game and uh, again exit. So the translations will catch up. And we'll see what happens. We will continue the last game. As you can see, the floors are here. And now if we go to details, codex entry, we can see that this says floor, a green ship floor. So it's translated. And if the mod is popular enough, people will probably create translations for it uh, in other languages and contribute to your mod this way. There we go. So that that is it. That is basically everything that it needs to be that needs to be done to create a floor mod. And let's just quickly see what happens when we remove it. If someone kind of builds something and uh, uses your mod, but then decides to, to get rid of it. Or actually, if you want to like remove it completely, you can go open this folder. And you can just say delete it, but I don't want to delete it. I'm just going to move it to a different location. So it's not in the list of mods anymore, right? Oh, it says that I cannot, uh, I cannot do this right now because it's in use, so I have to actually exit the game first. And probably close the, yeah, I have to close the Visual Studio code. 
and now I try again and uh, there we go mod is removed so now if we enter the game and try to load uh, it will rebuild the graphics cache repack the sprites because those sprites were packed along with the originals and if you continue object removed definition not found object removed so yeah we just lose the tiles that were created with that mod and that's all but the save will work you can save again and, and it's just gonna work all right, uh, you can also create mods that provide translations for other mods. You can create mods that uh, just modify the behavior of some device uh, by just creating the override for the definition and so on and so forth. So there we go, it's a start this. This is a tutorial on how to create a simple floor mods and how to like register it and remove it. And that's all, see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the game.